You've probably already seen AI movie trailers, like for example, Lord of the Rings by Wes Anderson. You may have seen the Barbie Oppenheimer movie trailer that was made with AI. And I found out that I wanted to make an AI trailer myself. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through how I scripted the AI movie, how I turned that into an AI voiceover, how I turned that into AI images that then turned into these amazing AI videos. And then I mashed it all together. So by the end of this video, you can easily make your own AI movie trailer completely for free. This was way more fun than I thought. So first off, I want to show you Halo AI, which is the new best free video generator that you can use right now to create some insane results. Let me just show you some examples. Here we have a bunny sitting in the snow with a frozen rose. Here we have some volcanic explosion and a guy running. Whoa, massive fiery explosion in the middle of a room. It almost looks completely real. Here we have an epic battleground that the camera actually pans over to a weapon. Even this car driving through this pink desert. Damn, you can see that the quality is as high as some of the best AI video generators I've reviewed. However, this one is less censored, which means in runway, you couldn't, for example, generate a video of any copyrighted material, even people's faces like Elon Musk or Donald Trump in a video, it'll just say, can't create that. While in here, you can actually create that. Same with anything of nudity or even a tiny cleavage in runway, it'll say, nah. Here though, no censorship unless it's actual nudity and the same with violence as well. But I'm getting pretty excited about making this AI movie. So let's just start with step number one, get a movie idea. So I'm gonna go to ChatGPT and I'm gonna get it to help me brainstorm. I already have a video idea, so I'm gonna write as much as possible of what my idea is. So again, this is a pretty long prompt, but let's see what happens when we write it. As you can see, it creates many different scenes for me is going to be helpful for the later steps. I'm going to make sure that I click on ChatGPT and make it with ChatGPT 4.0 Canvas. And I'm going to ask it just for the narration. Now it opens up in the side here to make it easier to edit. I'm going to make it shorter by clicking on this adjust the length. I'm going to scroll it all the way down to shortest and click. And now you can see that it will start rewriting the script to be as short as possible. This one is actually really good straight off the bat. So I'm going to copy it, but I'm also going to write and you make a second version. And this version is actually better. So I'm going to copy this one. And then let's go to step number two, generate the images. I'm going to go to Kriya.ai because this is a free image generator that uses Flux, which is the best model to use right now. The style that I want to use for this is a type of Renaissance robot with a lot of floral patterns around quite old school with bookshelf, a chandelier and where there's usually something very interesting happening in the center of the image that are going to drive our story forward. I still can't believe that I'm able to create images like this, but let's start prompting. This is going to be our protagonist. So it's important that we try to keep a consistent character throughout the entire video. The way that I do this is to have a master prompt that looks a little bit like this. And to make the master prompt a little bit more simple for you, what I recommend is that you only change one sentence for the object. So this is a blonde girl. We could have the father, for example, by changing it to a dad in night armor. And the second thing is how they're actually moving their body. Here we have sitting on a retro desk. So if you want to have them standing, we will change that as well. But these are pretty much the only parameters that I'm gonna change in the prompt. So now let's generate some images. Okay, that was a lot of fun and so many cool images. I particularly love this style. So now all we need to do is generate the video. But before that, please drop a like on this video and also comment down below AI video if you like me to make more videos like this and stay to the end to see the final result. Now let's go to step number three, generate the video. 
I'm gonna go to Halo AI because this is the best free video generator that you can use right now. It's exactly on par with Runway ML as well as Kling, which I have deemed to be the best video generators, but you actually get a 100% the old way of learning how to code with AI looks like this. Watch an hour long YouTube video and follow along in your favorite interface. The new way to learn code is to learn and code on the exact same website. Look, I'm watching this tutorial, but I can always minimize it and write code right here in the web browser, which makes it so much easier to learn. Let me show you how. Step number one, just go to scrimba.com. And as you can see on their homepage, they have a ton of different courses, topics, projects, and templates that you can learn from. So step number two, let's click on topics. And here we actually have AI, 14 courses, 11 lessons. So let's click it. Say we want to build AI apps with ChatGPT, Dolly 3 and GPT-4. We can now start taking this course. And right away, you can see me getting taught on screen, kind of like it's a video, but I have the coding interface as well as the output right here in front of me while learning. Even cooler, they have these challenges in the middle of a video where they want me to build a logging button before I submit the solution, which helps me retain the information a lot better. So check out scrimba.com if you want to learn how to code and use my link for an additional 30% discount. Now let's go to step number three, generate the video. I'm going to go to Halo AI because this is the best free video generator that you can use right now. It's exactly on par with Runway ML as well as Clean which I have deemed to be the best video generators, but you actually get a 100% free three day trial where you can generate unlimited videos. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. All we need to do is to drag the image in here. Then we'll write a prompt that is usually focused around the camera movement of the video. Here is a short list of my favorite camera motions. The one I use the most is slow punch in as well as parallax shot. To give you a prompting tip, what I like to do is to have the camera motion in the the front or in the back of a prompt then I like to have the object so here we have a human on robot and then I like to have the background easy to remember camera object background and then we have this automatic prompt refiner on that fleshes out the prompt and make it even better I'm just gonna click on generate and let me show you a bunch of videos that I have generated. Here's one of the first ones that I generated that I was super surprised with the result. Here is the protagonist speaking to her dad. Here is a Coke can that has the parallax effect. Here we have a mad dad going crazy, banging the table. Here we have the first one that I wasn't so happy with because of the fighting and the motion that that is actually panning around is actually crazy. And that's another parallax shift shot. This one is maybe one of my favorites that is punching in on the face and just look how crisp the quality is here. Here is another one I did that will have like all these social media icons floating around. And again, I just really love the movement of the robot. This is maybe my favorite shot here as well, where he's getting mad and says, <laughs> whoa, he just gets so angry. No, you're not getting candy. <laughs> Here we managed to get this crazy blur effect with the dramatic dolly zoom. This is another close off uh, drone shot that I tried to get in that was absolutely perfect. Here as well, we uh, I tried to make her cry, but uh, yeah, <laughs> consistent character. She literally turns into a seven year old. Here as well, we have more fighting. Um, it wasn't really that good at fighting. Here we have more robot style uh, camera motions that didn't like this one in particular another close-up of her drinking the coke this time with a straw and i have a bunch more 
videos, but I don't actually want to spoil the ending. So step number four, generate the voiceover. So I'm going to go to 11labs.io because this is the best AI voiceover tool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a voice. I do believe I have the one I want to use called Matilda. But if you haven't found your voice, you can click on find for voices. And here you have hundreds, if not even thousands of voices like this guy. Yo soy la voz que andabas buscando. Or this guy. Hey man, what's up? Or this one. The greatest way to live with honor in this world is to be Anyways, I'm going to go back, paste my entire script that I wrote with ChatGPT here, make sure I have Matilda selected, and then let's generate. I want to be a robot. No feelings, no flaws, only precision. My father didn't understand. It actually wasn't the best voice, so I'm going to find a better one. My name is Kavya. This voice has been used in over 10... Another way of saying I love you. I think that one sounds pretty good. Let's add that. I want to be a robot. No feelings, no flaws, only precision. My father didn't understand. Didn't like that. It needs to have a little bit more feeling. This voice has been used in over... God has given you one face. Everything in the universe goes by indirection. There are no straight lines. Let's check Adelina here. I want to be a robot. No feelings, no flaws. My father didn't understand. Let's maybe put it at less stable. I want to be a robot. No feelings, no flaws. My father didn't understand. One last try here. With I want to be a robot. No feelings, no flaws. My father didn't understand. Perfect. Let's download it. Let's go to the next step. Bring it all together. I'm going to use DaVinci Resolve 19 because it's the best free video editor that I use. I'll start by dragging all of the videos that we created directly into the media pool. I'll also grab the 11 Labs audio. I'm going to start by dragging things down on the timeline. And I guess it's time for an editing time lapse. So I got a pretty good outline so far, but I'm missing some music. So I'm going to go to pixabay.com. I'll click on music. Let's see if we can find something. Maybe let's try. I want to be a robot. My father didn't understand. I removed him. I want to be a robot. My father didn't understand. And there we have it. There are still a few imperfections in the video yes. and probably some cooler transitions that I could do. But after using AI to create this entire thing, let's take a look at the final result. I wanted to be a robot. My father didn't understand. I removed him. I called my assistant. The chip was ready, hidden in a soda can. I drank it, shedding my humanity. No more skin, only metal. I saw my reflection, exactly what I was meant to be. I'm finally free to take over the world. So there you have it, a full video created by AI. There could maybe be some better voiceover plotline. So hopefully you can make something better than me. If you're interested in joining our community about how to use AI tool to do work faster, I recommend checking it out in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.